Hey, it's your boy JL the Genius checking in with you guys live today. And today I wanted to talk about choosing your clients wisely. Choosing your clients wisely. And I really want to harp on this because of a, a few things, but um, not only from myself, but from even some of my clients that you know that's happened recently or like within the past year. And so, man. I had this I had somebody reach out to me the other day and uh they're like man you didn't give me you didn't give me no results I paid you this money I didn't get no results and and this and that I'm like bro I, I set up a funnel for you and positioned you for success I want everybody to make this make this be known like I always talk about the four components of online business right so so one component is and what's, what's going on Sean you can tap in with me brother if you want to one component is the funnel is the house, right? So think of your online business, think of the funnel as the house, right? And when you get the house, you, you got no, no furniture in there. So you got to put furniture inside the house. So the furniture inside the house, that's what we call a copyright, right? That's the words that go on the page. And then the next thing is, okay, you want to have, you want, you need an offer. So what is your offer in this case? We're going to have a housewarming party. We're going to have good food, good drinks, good music. That's your offer. And then lastly is the traffic. So the funnel is just one component, right? The funnel is just one component of the whole process. You still need a good offer. You still need good copy. You still need traffic. And so this person was upset because I set up the funnel. I, I, I set up everything for this person and positioned them for success but they didn't do any lives they didn't reach out to anybody they thought that part of their funnel fee was part of the funnel fee was going towards their ad spend but what i what i'm like bro i sent you a contract and i and the contract lays out all the details it tells you everything in this contract that that you're going to get and it tells you the expectations so in the contract it clearly states this does not include the the ad spend right your, your ad spend is not included so the ad spend is not included but i do set it up for you right? i do put i do set it up and position you the right way and so this person didn't do any lives they didn't do anything that i tell them and so now because they didn't see success this person tried to challenge one time they did this one they did the challenge literally one time and they was like oh this don't work oh this is terrible this is awful and it was my mistake because i should have vetted that client more i should have looked more into that person's social media i should have looked and see okay how active is this person does this person go live is this person already making money or they just got some business credit and now they want to spend it right and, and that was that was my fault for not doing my due diligence on my on the client what's going on miles and so when you when we're doing business and we get these clients saying do due diligence on the clients because having the wrong clients in your space can affect your mental can, and it can affect your relationship with other people it, it can affect uh your reputation right and so i wasn't vetting my clients initially i was just getting clients and letting them come in and letting them come in and miles you can hop on here if you want to brother um but i wasn't i wasn't vetting my clients and so this this person got mad because i set up not only one i gave them two funnels for the price of one and then i helped them create their first ebook they never made an ebook before and then on top of that i positioned them to get ready to run their ads and i gave them the strategy and the game plan and i told them what to do to actually get people into their challenge this person guy this person ran one challenge they did it one time and now i'm the blame now 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 i'm the now i'm the person who i i didn't i spent money with you i didn't get no success well did how many i asked them well how many lives did you do how many people did you reach out to oh that don't matter that doesn't matter i'm like what are you talking about bro i'm like i'm not doing this i'm not doing the, the leg work for you right i'm not i'm not doing this stuff for you 
I, I set you, I gave you the map. I get that's like somebody giving you a whole map to, to a treasure. And you look at the first step, you make the first step, and you're not at you not at the destination. Well, why why the treasure not right here? You just start you start digging. In this person's case, they didn't even start digging. They had the tools, they had everything, but they didn't even do the work. And so I can't work with people who don't work, who's who are not coachable. I refuse to do it. Because you think you you know all this and that, you know everything already. You learn it from this person, you learn it from you learn it from too many people. You got too many people in your ear. And now and now I'm the problem. I said, I, I can't do that no more. Like that's that's unacceptable. And, and this is when the beginning stages of, of my funnel building career. But now that now this person is upset, be like, man. I spent this much money with you and I, I only got a couple, you know, a couple hundred, blah, 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 a couple hundred uh, dollars. I'm like, bro, you you did it one time and you stopped. Like, how many of you know that in order to really be successful in this space, it's not going to happen on your first time? How many of you know that? Like, it's, it's, it doesn't have, it's not a one hit wonder. You don't just make a funnel and then, oh, I'm about to blow up, I got a funnel. It don't work like that. That's not how this game works. You have to you have to not only plant plant the seed. The funnel is planting the seed. You still have to do everything that comes behind that. Right? The seed is planted. But if you don't water the seed, how is that seed going to grow? This guy planted this I had, I planted the seed for him and he put a he put a little drop he put a little, you know, those little, uh, I can't think of what the name is. It's like little squeegee bottles. He put one drop on the on the seed, in the soil, and expected something to blossom. And I'm like, bro, you didn't put in the work. You mad at me for work that you didn't put in. And on top of that, not only did this person not put in the work, guys, this person completely changed niches. This person went from doing they were doing one thing to something completely different with a whole nother audience. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, what what is the plan? What's the game plan? What what are we following? Are you following the system or are you listening to every what everybody else is saying and not going along with the with the plan? And now I'm the reason you're not succeeding. And this is why it's so important. This is why I will vet my clients. This is why I have a higher end level of clients that I'm attracting now. I'm not attracting the people who don't do the work. Because I'm doing the work. I met with my brother this Sunday. And um, shout out to Dave. And me and my brother talked about, you know, we're going to meet every Sunday on our goals. And then Friday. And then um, on Friday, we're going to, we said every Sunday we're going to meet, talk about our goals, what we're going to do for the week. Friday, we're going to follow up, right? It's my accountability partner. And so I said, I'm, I'm going to go live every day this week. I want to go live every single day. And so this is this is the first day of, of me taking that, that step. But then this is not, this is not it. This is not the, the turning point. I said, I'm going to go live every day. So if I don't go live tomorrow, did I accomplish my goal? No. If I don't put the work in, if I don't work on me, you see, all work works. It's either working on you or it's working for you. All work works. It's working on you or it's working for you. You see these people doing challenges and coming out with $100,000, million days and you think, okay, I'm going to do this. But you don't know all the failures that that person had before they even got to that $100,000 $100, day. All the webinars that they did and nobody showed up. All the challenges that they did with a handful of people. With five people. All the webinars they did, nobody showed up and they still showed up and showed out. 
Because even though nobody was watching physically, God is always watching. God is always watching what you do. And that's the only cheerleader you need. That's the only fan you need. Because like I said, all work works. It's just working on you. What's going on, Queen? All work works. It's just working on you. So if you feel like if you're doing something right now and you're, if you're not seeing the results that you want to see, that's because you're not that person yet. You haven't become that person who you need to be. You're still you still it's still room to grow for everybody. The biggest room in the world is the room for improvement. And so if you're not improving, how do you improve? OK, the biggest room in the world is room for improvement. How do I improve, JL? You only it's only one way. I talk about this all the time and I'm going to keep talking about this because I, I've seen it happen. And I failed at it and I, I've stopped things. I've started things and stopped them and didn't see success and wonder why. I've started things and completed them and saw success and wonder why. It's because there's one thing. It's because reps. Your reps are going to determine your level of success. I was at the conference on uh, Wealth Connect. And uh, I think uh, Dante was speaking. He said, show me your Instagram page and show me your content. And that's going to let me know where your bank account is at. That's going to let me know if you really impacting the people. Because if you don't got one, if you got one post on there in, in, in three years, you ain't, you, I know you ain't making no money. But if you consistently posting every single day, day in, day out. Are you making some money? Are you about to start? And so the one thing that's going to separate you from everybody else is the reps. Repeated execution produces success. Keyword, repeated. 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 That's the first thing in reps. That doesn't mean I do this one time and I stop. You ever put a song on replay and it, and it played the next song? No. It doesn't work like that. So that's why you have to do it repeat, repetitively. What's the second word? Execution. You don't have an education problem. You have an execution problem. You got all the knowledge. You got the tools. You got the access. What are you doing with it? What are you waiting on? Why are you waiting? What are you playing? Why are you playing? My cousin was 26 years old. Died. His girlfriend stabbed him in the, in the soft spot of his chest. It hit the bottom of his heart and the top of his lung. 26. Had four kids. What are you what are you waiting on? We go through life every day like we're going to wake up tomorrow. Like, does that not sink in? You could talk to somebody one day, the next day you can't have that conversation no more. But you, but you plan with your gift. You know, you got information in your head, you got an idea in your mind, and you scared to do the second part. Execute. Nobody should have to keep telling you week in and week out every single day. Hey, did you get this done? Hey, did you get this done? Hey, did you get this done? Nah, man, I had to go do this. I had to go pick up some groceries. Or I had to go, you know, uh, walk my dog. And, that, you know, that took 24 hours to walk my dog. So when I came in um, and I was just tired, I didn't, I didn't have the energy. Get rid of the excuses. You don't have an education problem. You have an execution problem. That's number two. Number one is re repeated. Number two is execution. Number three is produces. You have to be a producer. Produce something that that is not only informational, but it's transformational. 
how are people's lives going to change based on what you're teaching? Nobody's buying your product. Nobody's buying your service. They're first, they first got to buy you, and you have to be a producer. You have to be the example for what you're trying to sell. When I first got started, at the time, I was not that. Now I am that. I realize my power now. I know I'm him. Do you know that that you are that person? You him, you her. Doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. It only matters what you think about you. And what you think about you is going to show in the real world by your by your production. If you're not producing in the real world, you don't think you don't think much of yourself. You don't think that you're this big shot. Oh, I still got so much to learn and, and so much to do. Start taking action. Start making moves. What are you waiting on? You still waiting. Production. Repeated execution produces success. Success is the last thing. You can't get to success without the other three. And success is a is the success is not an end destination. You're not going to make it to some level and be done with it. And I'm all oh, I'm, I'm successful. I've arrived. You've you, you never arrived. Success is the journey. Being in the grind, being in the grit, struggling, figuring it out, figuring out some more, struggling again, figuring out the next level. It was this. It was this horse, and it, it, this guy had a had a. Uh, he had a he had a horse, and you know his his family really, really couldn't afford it. His family, his family really couldn't afford the horse. And so um, you're like, man, you got to get rid of that horse. You got you to gotta bury the hurt horse, kill a horse or something. So the guy, he was working diligently, digging his hole, right? He's digging his hole. And he finally dug the hole, got to the horse height, told the horse, go ahead, get in there. He said, get in the hole. So the horse jumped in the hole. The horse don't know what's going on. He just in the he just in the hole. Like man, what's going on? Like I don't I don't know what's going on. And so the guy just start throwing dirt dirt on the horse. The horse horse just look up like man, it's just dirt falling on me. So when every time the dirt fell on him, she shook it off, stepped on it. Guy just keep throwing dirt, just keep throwing the dirt. The horse just shaking it off, stepping on it. So by the time that it got to the end, the guy was out of dirt and the horse was still standing up. The horse was, was on top of the ground. He was like, man, I, I'm trying to get rid of this thing. It's, it's just not going away. And the moral of the story is you're going to run into obstacles. You're going to fall down. You're going to go into a hole. People going to throw dirt on your name. Are you going to shake it off and keep stepping up? People are not going to help you. They're going to laugh at your dreams. Are you going to shake it off and keep stepping up? Are you going to keep stepping up until you get to the level where you want to get to? They wanted to, they wanted to kill that horse. But God didn't allow it. The horse didn't allow it. You, you have your own destiny in your hands. How many offers are you making this morning? How many people did you did you let know that you have a product or service? How many how many problems did you solve? Let's talk about that. It's not even about your product or service. What what is the real issue? What are you really actually solving for people? And do you did you let people know? Did you tell somebody today what what how can you can help them? How you can help them? See, people going when you when you coming up into success when you're thriving, people are gonna throw dirt on your name. They're gonna talk about you. They're gonna try to beat you, knock you down. But that, all of that, is it's irrelevant. It's about what you do, because you can control your future. You control what you do. And so this person that 
was mad at me for set. I set them up for success. Like, oh man, I didn't get no results. I didn't. Let me ask you, bro. How many how many lives did you do? How many people did you reach out to? How many podcasts did you get on? How many times did you get in on other people's shows, on other people's platforms? How many times? Oh, that don't matter. This and this and that. You got to go on, cussing me out, going going in on me. I'm like, this person not gonna be successful. This person gonna continue to struggle because they blaming everybody else. Whatever you going through in your life, I'm not your issue. I'm not your problem. Your your faults and, and, and your shortcomings is not on me. That's like that's like somebody throwing LeBron uh, LeBron James at alley oop, and he bought it. He see the ball coming up, but don't jump. How you gonna dunk the ball? I'm I'm ha- I'm literally handing you the formula. I'm giving you the alley oop. If you don't jump and go get it, that's not on me. If you don't go live every day, if you don't really let people know what your gifts are, how you can help them, you're not putting yourself out there, that's not on me. I'm only setting the foundation for you. I can't tell, I can't make you be you. Only you can make you be you. Only you can you can go out here and impact people the way that you impact people. But don't point the finger and blame others for something that you didn't do. That you were told to do. I told you what you had to do. But you wanted to do it your way. You got it figured out. All right, you got it figured out. I'm going to let you have it. I'm not about to fight with you. Like Myron said, if I got to pull you in, I got to if I gotta drag you in, I got to drag you around. And I don't got the back built for that. I'm, I'm not young. I'm not super young like, like I used to be. So I'm not dragging nobody into nothing they don't want to be in. I'm not pulling nobody around for no reason. If you see success, you see somebody having success, you see somebody getting traction, model it. It's not it's not easy work. No, it's not going to be easy. It's hard to go live. Then it's harder to go live for a whole week. Then it's harder to go live for a whole year. You got to put in that work. And that's how you really become the person. It's the reps. Repeated execution produces success. So this is my message for you guys today. I know I talked to I was talking to somebody today. I I know this is gonna touch somebody's heart, but you gotta you gotta get out here and get to work. You scared of the world, and and your bank account scared of you. You scared of the world, and you wonder why your bank account low. It's because you ain't living in your gift. You ain't living in your purpose. I know what my purpose is. I know what my gift is. I'm not scared to, to put myself out there. I'm not scared to help others because I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to free and liberate somebody. I'm not just making content that's informational. The content I'm making is going to transform you. It's transformational. It's going to make you want to level up. It's going to make you look in that mirror and say, why did I post today? Why did I go live today? Why didn't I reach out to people today? Because I'm not the issue. I can only tell you so much. Like I said, guys, there's only one way that you can get to that next level. And that's with your reps. I don't care what what industry, what, what level of life. It's only with your reps. Repeated execution produces success. I love you guys. I'm J.O. the Genius. For the action takers, I will see you at the top. Peace.